looks like I got a little hitchhiker and I'm gonna get rid of him before I get on the highway and he gets hurt. I got rid of my tiny little hitchhiker and I am on the road. I'm getting ready to go to a small auction. It is Friday and uh, you know, there were a couple of yard sales out today, but I decided to forego them. I don't live in an area that has a ton of yard sales. I know that that's the kind of content on YouTube that seems to be blowing up and apparently I'm not going to get to blow up ever because my content sucks and I have no yard sales to film and that's all people care about watching. But if you stick with me, you might learn something and we're gonna make money. So, you know, that's really important too, is making a bunch of money, learning about what sells good on eBay, Macari, and other marketplaces like that. But anyways, enough about my rant. We're going to go to the auction. We're gonna see what we can find and we're gonna have a good time. So let's hit the road. They have a bunch of beautiful quilts. I love this wedding ring pattern quilt. These are really hard to find this one is an excellent shape but it'll bring a premium today i'm sure beautiful i love this one too it has awesome beautiful quilts a couple more pretty quilts most of it's just general merchandise here Let's see if i find anything interesting this is an excellent looking old radio this is really cool in great shape Got some stuff leaned up here against it. Pretty cool. A bunch of wrapping paper. Sometimes you can find this. Some gems and something like this. It's worth some good money. A bunch of Fisher Price stuff. Airport. Good stuff. Ooh, look at that. Bert and Ernie. Nice right, neat. That old Radio Shack laser shot. That's cool. He'll pop up pimple. Cool. Lightning Domino Super Show. That's cool. Neat old farm toys. Wagon. International Harvester. And nesting dolls. I don't know if there's anything inside them. Okay, guys, so I showed you some of the butter stuff over there. I'm going to go over there and uh, I'm going to start doing some research, seeing what I need to buy and what I don't need to buy. And when we're done with this video, we'll do a haul video of the stuff that I got from the auction today. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got Megan getting out of the old Mustang and I have a Yukon full of stuff. We are going to pull it out and take it inside. This should be fun. Let's get to it. Right. 
That's right. I buy making quilts all the time. And I don't know if... I have quite a collection. Yeah, I love that one, but I wasn't sure if you'd like it. I only yeah. paid like eight bucks for it, but if you rub it on this floor, it's going to get filthy. Yeah, I see that, yeah. Yeah, this floor is <laughs> filthy. That's nasty. That one, be careful with it because it's... Is it a wedding ring? Yes, but don't get it on the floor. Do you like that one? Yeah, I do. Okay, that one's yours too. Show it to the camera so you can see it. Here, let me grab, yeah, let me grab a corner here. Yeah, this is a wedding ring pattern quilt. It's beautiful, and I, my wife loves quilts, so whenever I go out, I try to get her something. So I, I'm bad because, like, I love her so much that like I can't just not buy a quilt for her and like keep it for Christmas. Cause that's probably what i should do with both those is like keep them but like she gets stuff like almost every time i go to the auction because like you know she's prettier than me so you know i have to do right by her uh the only other thing i have in this i have a chenille that's a chenille wedding ring oh. a wedding wedding ring and then there's this hold that up so they can see it this is a cowboy and indian like a little lap quilt that somebody made and i thought that was really Cool. It is really cool, but yeah, we'll look. Wolves on it too. Huh? Got wolves on it too. Right. That's awesome. That we'll look through the rest of this stuff in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we're gonna do this as quick as possible. We're gonna pull all of these items because we want to go to a yard sale. At least I want to go to a yard sale. Oh, I forgot about that. And I'm pretty sure she likes yard sales too. So we'll probably both be going to the yard sale. The first item that we're gonna pull is uh, I'm gonna grab the eyeshadow. And the teal kitty cap, and then you can grab whatever you're gonna grab. Okay. 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 She's going to get the hat, and I'm gonna walk over here and grab one of these teal kitty caps here. That's the teal kitty cap. It sold for like five, six bucks shipped, and we're gonna lay it down over here, and then we're gonna go get one of our nice little eyeshadows. <laughs> Excuse me. Got the hiccup. Yep, and grab the hair dryer. She says that was 8301. 8301. Let's see, hopefully we got an 80. We've got that's the last 8301 that we have. Yeah. I bought these uh from the uh dog place that we go to where they support uh the local no-kill shelter. We buy a lot of stuff from them because we love puppy dogs. We love we've got Cooper and we've got uh jude and then we got lucy and we got like five cats and yeah we're yeah we got too many animals did you find it andretti this is it. that's it okay fantastic number 25 andretti how much did it sell for 13.95 Woo! 13.95 plus shipping we did away with free shipping my suggestion is that you do away with free shipping too you do what you want but we do a lot better now that we charge shipping um We've got some Sam Edelman shoes. They're in a box. They're funky looking. Okay, well, um, Mary figure. I know where that's at. I'm going to get the Mary figure. So this is how we do it. We work together in teams. Team work. Mary figure is, that's not her. This is her right here. This is actually Our Lady of the Snows. It's a beautiful... Uh, statue I picked it up we sold it for like 20 bucks not too bad we'll set that right there uh, the Hot Wheel the citation that was one that was kind of uh, a surprise that it was actually worth something I wish someone would buy that $350 Morant stereo um citation here it is right here this again is an unpunched card. It did have a crease on it, so that affected a value. You know how much it sold for? That was like twenty like bucks. Sixteen, seventeen. Sixteen, seventeen bucks. Not too bad. Yeah. And then this so. is the other hat I got. Oh, the Taylor Ford. I'm glad these these four dealership hats or Chevy or whatever dealership hats, they will sell. That one sell for how much? Twelve and free shipping. But we twelve. We've had that we, listed for a while. Well, we, we started out with like five or six of them. Now we're, yeah. we're down to one left. That's crazy. That's absolutely, that's absolutely crazy. What are you looking for now? Oh wait, I need a shirt. A shirt? Okay, I'm gonna regroup and we'll be right back. Okay guys, this was a fantastic pickup. Uh, I sold a Swamp Thing Blu-ray. Um, 
these weird blu-rays can be worth a ton of money do not pass these up if you're at a yard sale and you see some blu-rays check them out because this one sold for like 47 bucks and then megan down here has a shirt that we just sold it looks like it's got a pot leaf on it, but it's actually a Japanese maple leaf. A Japanese maple leaf. So it's not a pot shirt. It's a Japan Japanese maple leaf shirt. I don't know if it'll get you high. I would suggest not smoking <laughs> it. What's the next item? Uh, we need a car part. A car part. Okay. Oh, you didn't get those shoes yet either. Did no, you? I don't have no idea where those things are at. What were they called? They're Taylor. Probably these things here. Okay, Sam Edelman. Oh, those are those. Yeah. yeah those have been listed for a while. There's dust on yeah. the top of that box. Look at that. Ooh, that's filthy. Look at that. That's yeah. filthy. You guys got to see these. These are pretty wild. These are pretty. <laughs> these They're are like clown shoes or something. They, look <laughs> they like might watch me. our sh channel. Don't say that. <laughs> they look but like look at that. That is, that is something. Woo. <laughs> We've had these things listed for a while. Yeah. They have been listed for a while. I'll just throw them in there. Uh, how much did it sell for? Oh gosh, let's see. $13 plus shipping. <laughs> $13 plus shipping. That thing had been listed for absolute ever. That's crazy that it finally sold. Right. Yeah, that's the right one fingers in the way okay there we go shut that down something amazing just happened the first car part out of all those car parts over there that she picked up was the absolute right one <laughs> that don't happen very often um and we sold this harley davidson how much do we sell for 18.55 plus shipping yeah and this was eight free shipping nice so not too bad uh, I think we did like three hundred something dollars in sales yesterday. It may seem weird, like if you add up all of this oh, stuff. One more thing, we got oh, a watch. We got, we got a watch. A watch. I don't even know where that's a at. Guess watch. We sold a guess watch, but one of the weird things that you'll see here is that like a lot of this stuff is like, like we we'll pick like some of the stuff sold today and some of this stuff sold yesterday because we come over here about four or five o'clock in the afternoon to pull our orders. So anything that sells after that, we just pull the next day. So. Sometimes our numbers might not add up, but if you look, if you go to our completed stuff, we don't hide anything. In fact, many times we just show you our numbers on our channel to show you guys that we are actually legitimate eBay resellers. I make absolutely hardly nothing on YouTube because I suck. I don't go to garage sales and I, I don't know if it's just my personality that stinks, but like... Like, I don't get a lot of views on my videos, which is fine. I got some really, some of the absolute best subscribers out there. You guys are like ride or die. And I love how you comment on my videos, especially when I didn't make videos for a while. And when I made a video, you guys were like, hey, we're glad you're back. Glad you made a video. But anyways, we try to be upfront and honest with you guys. We make a vast majority of our money. Well, almost all of our money is made off of, of eBay. We have some other stuff that we make money on, but we do most of our income from ebay so we definitely think that we are a good channel to watch and to get an idea to put your finger on the old pulse of what's selling on ebay right now and uh, we have a lot of local competition that watches us and that's perfectly fine too because you know what even where i live at there's more stuff than i can buy and i have helped a lot of my local competition become better resellers and i'm not afraid of that okay so i got everything taken into the store I am now, uh, I now have a death pile. I've got like 800 bucks and everything right here and right here. Um, and then I've got, guys, have you ever made a, a purchase? You just didn't know what the hell you were thinking. Here's my purchase. I bought sails for a sailboat. What am I gonna do with those guys? I can't ship that. And I've got like a bunch in it. I got like close to like 80, nope, 40. I got close to 100 bucks in that. I don't know, don't care. Not worried about it right now. Um, but this tote here, I bought it at the auction the other day for two bucks. And I was, no one, I mean, <laughs> we were in a back bedroom and there was just me, the auctioneer, the auctioneer's brother, and two other people that buy stuff. I mean, it was at the very end of the auction, almost everyone had left. It was freaking hot outside. It was horrible. And, in the back room there was some totes and some stuff and i found this tote they they lifted the lid off of it and i was like hey what's in the tote they lifted the lid off of it i'd already looked in the tote 
I knew what was in the bottom, but it's not my job as a person that goes to the auction to educate the auctioneer or the homeowner on how they should conduct their sales. I'm just there to buy stuff. So, uh, got a couple pirate swords too. I buy some of the weirdest stuff, people. Absolutely crazy stuff, pirate swords. Anyways, so this tote here is full of stuffed animals. They take, they lift the lid off of it and I go, oh, it's stuffed animals, cool. I got $2 for that. So I bid two bucks. No one else bids against me because nobody else wants stuffed animals. I guess they haven't been watching the YouTube videos lately that says that stuffed animals are kind of good money. So anyways, as I'm digging through the tote before anyone else got back into that room, I'm digging down, I'm digging down. Um, digging past all of these layers of stuffed animals. Lo and behold, what is in the bottom of the tote? But a... Fisher Price, Barn, all of these, well, all of these really good stuffed animals, they're really good, but I have the Fisher Price Silo, which is one of the, the original silos, I have the Fisher Price Farm, and it sounds like it's full, let's see if we can look in here, let's see if we can peek in here, look at that, oh boy, look at all that, I don't know why it moved when I opened it. But look at all that good stuff in there. There's some cows, some fencing, some sheep. Looks like they're having a good old time in there. And I got all of this for two bucks. There's a Raggedy Ann doll in there. I have no idea. Here's a, a Sesame Street cash register. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if all the buttons and stuff there. And then there is a thing of cars here. And in here, it looks like there's some old Hot Wheels and there's an old sailboat an old really cool little sailboat and uh maybe what appears to be a transformer we'll look in there in just a second let me pick this old gal up off the ground she's face down in the dirt and um we're gonna open this bag up real quick and see what's in there okay here's what was in that little plastic bag we've got a little like a little tonka little truck we've got a couple of those really cool these will stay in my personal collection um, I do collect the old stompers. These were actually the McDonald's stompers. They are not the battery operated ones, but these came, I believe, in the McDonald's toys. There's some old farm toys here, which is super cool. VW Bug, which kicks butt. Um, an old Camaro, which might be one of the color changing Camaros. This is awesome. It's a Bosun Boats, a J29, little wooden boat there. Another tractor. So. I got all of this for two bucks because I got to the auction early enough to be able to dig through some of the totes. That's a very important tip there, people. If you want to make some money, get to the auction earlier, dig to the bottom of the totes, see what you can find, and nine times out of ten, you're going to be in the know because, I'll be honest with you, most of the people that go to the auctions are a little bit older and they don't like to bend over. I know that sounds crazy, but they do not like to bend over. They do not want to get into the bottom of a tote. Osteoporosis is a bad thing and uh but so are bad he's in knees and hips so that's just a tip right there i hope you guys enjoyed the video today thank you for watching if you would to be sure to like and uh, maybe even go down and tickle that subscribe button if you are so inclined to do so thank you very much for watching you have a good day god bless you guys uh remember the family that picks together sticks together god bless you guys